So is it really worth it to live in Dundas in Hamilton, Ontario? Is it really worth it? As I know a lot of people have mentioned to me and could list off a laundry list full of amazing pros about living in Dundas. But on the flip side of that, I also know people that moved there and then couldn't wait to sell their home and move out. So then is it worth it for you to move to Dundas, Ontario? Well, that's really gonna depend on your perspective. So in today's video, I thought I would help you better understand whether it's worth it for you or not by sharing with you the top pros and cons of living in Dundas in Hamilton, Ontario. So let's check it out. Hey guys, so welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Matthew. This is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Burlington as well as the surrounding cities so you know which cities are right for you. If you're interested in moving here and want a little bit of help one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to shoot me a message. But other than that, let's chat about Dundas. So Dundas is this quaint small town feel on the northwest side of Hamilton that was once its own town. And it was originally started back in the 1800s and it was given the nickname the Valley Town as it's in between the Niagara Escarpment in a beautiful valley. And as a result of this historic route and its geographic location, it is an absolutely picturesque town to enjoy. As not only do you have that classic 1800 architecture in the downtown core, but just moments away, you have some beautiful stunning hiking trails that lead to magnificent waterfalls for you to enjoy on a beautiful summer day. And because of all this old town charm and this nature beauty you can routinely see a bunch of movies TV shows filming here from the Hulk to the Maven to the man of the year to the West Wing and many many more films and TV shows are routinely filmed in Dundas so let's just jump on into it and talk about the cons of living in Dundas now there are a few cons if you're interested in learning about the pros and why people love here make sure to keep watching as we'll cover that second but the very first con is the property taxes as unfortunately Dundas is a part of Hamilton and as a result Hamilton has higher prices property taxes than its neighboring cities of Oakville, Milton, and Burlington. However, it is still lower than Toronto and Niagara Falls, so it really is in the middle depending on which cities you're comparing. Now with that said, Hamilton, your million dollars will go a little bit farther than Burlington, but definitely still something to keep in mind if you're thinking about buying real estate in Dundas. Then the second negative is often heard from a bunch of young people in their 20s, and that is it's boring to live in, as at the end of the day, there is not much nightlife in Dundas, as it has a beautiful small town feel, and as a result, there's been a lot of elderly couples and just a retirement community living here. Now in the recent years, we've seen an influx of newer families families moving into Dundas and calling it home. But nonetheless, because of the small town feel, a lot of the shops do operate on the nine to five hours with Sundays off. And therefore there's not as many things to do in the evenings to go out and enjoy. With that said, if you're a family, there's still a lot of activities to do on the weekend and during the week from the parks and the beautiful hiking trails we'll mention in just a moment, but also to the farmers markets and local farms. And you can't forget the the three breweries that have recently opened up in the area from Fairweather, Great and Grit, and Shed Brewery, all offering great beer to enjoy. So there's definitely things to do, but just a lot less nightlife than a larger city, which would be Toronto, would be the next largest city other than Hamilton. Now the next con associated with living in Dundas has to be the traffic. Now to be honest with you, the traffic in Dundas really isn't that bad once you're in Dundas. The problem is a lot of people in Dundas like to commute for work. Now thankfully because of the work for home, there's a lot less people commuting, but there's still those bottlenecks that you're gonna find. As overall, Dundas really is not in a great location for jumping on the 403 and the QEW, and as a result, leaving Dundas along King Street or through the downtown core, you can usually expect a bit of delays during those rush hours. However, to help reduce that traffic, you still do get access to the great public transit network that Hamilton does offer and runs throughout Dundas. Now the next con about living in Dundas is often also associated with a lot of small towns and the lack of amenities as I know a lot of people that want to live in this established community that has everything around them. Now don't get me wrong, you'll still find pretty much your day-to-day -day lives of the grocery shop, the gym, anywhere else that you'd want to go. However, if you're looking to go for shopping for like a big mall, you're going to have to go out of the way. If you want to go to a movie theater, so you're also going to have to drive out of the way. There's a lot of things that just because Dundas is a small town 
about and where it's located, you're going to have to travel to one of the neighboring areas, whether that's Westdale's neighborhood or Ancaster. Burlington is another area where you could go and capitalize on these amenities, but just know that you might have to travel a little bit out of the way for some basic things. And then the next major negative associated with Dundas is the gentrification that is happening going on. As, as a result of the massive supply issue we've been seeing in the Golden Horseshoe area, including Hamilton, we've seen a lot of families be forced further and further away from Toronto and they're calling Dundas home, which is absolutely fantastic as we welcome them with open arms. But unfortunately, some of the residents that were once living in Dundas are now getting pushed out further and further as they're no longer able to afford the properties that they were once able to provide. So now that we've chatted about the cons about living in Dundas, let's talk about why I think Dundas is an amazing spot to live in and why so many other people agree with me. And the very first pro about living in Dundas is all the amazing nature, hiking trails, and waterfalls you get to explore at your doorstep. As not only do you have probably the best collection of waterfalls and hiking trails in all of Hamilton in the Dundas area, in particular around Spencer's Gorge, which is home to not only Webster Falls, which offers a beautiful view of one waterfall, but you also have Two's waterfall, which is the tallest waterfall in all of Hamilton with a wide variety of hiking paths around it with lookouts for you to enjoy immaculate views. But then if you also hike just a little bit further, you'll also stumble upon Dundas Peak. And this is truly some of the best views you'll find of all of Hamilton. As when you're at Dundas Peak, not only can you look back and see the beautiful valley that Dundas sits in, but you can see the entire community and village of Dundas all from that one point. But other than Spencer's Porch, you also have Dundas Valley Conservation Area, Borders Falls Conservation Area, you have the Bruce Trail running throughout it, but perhaps the most popular park to its residents within the city borders is the Driving Loop Park, which offers a wide variety of different activities to enjoy on the summer days, like a spool, a plash pad, an outdoor amphitheater, tennis courts, or a skate park. But also in the winter, there's an amazing outdoor rink for you to enjoy those sunny winter days. Then the second pro why people love living in Dundas is the historic small town feel. Now while there is some cons associated with being a smaller town feel, there's a lot of pros that come with it. Not only do you have the old town charm, you get to enjoy your neighbors and see them at your local festivals each year but also you just get to enjoy the beautiful downtown Dundas offers which it's truly influenced by its 1800 architecture with a lot of local businesses lining the streets. A few of my personal favorite local businesses are barely bent used books which are perfect to pick up a good read and enjoy outside. Another one is Burner Monkey Chocolate is an affordable chocolate shop in downtown Dundas. You must visit if you have a sweet tooth craving. You have record on the wheels that just celebrated its 40th anniversary selling records. And then also you have the iconic Thirsty Cactus that's been home to many movie sets filmed but also offers some great Mexican food right in the heart of Dundas. So like I mentioned, while there's all these great charms, you have to keep in mind a lot of these shops and restaurants do operate on small town hours of 9 to 5 with Sundays off. So definitely something to also keep in mind. Now because of the historic routes Dundas has to offer, you'll also find a lot of local farms and farmers markets that have been going on for decades. As not only do you have Valley Farm, but you also have Dynamite's Glen Farm, which is a great spot to go and pick up some fresh pastries, fresh produce, produce or whatever you're looking for, but also you can find the local farmer's market that happens every year in downtown Dundas, but also in the small town, you'll get to bump into your neighbors at one of its local festivals that it routinely happens, as it has the Cactus Fest, which you might not know, Dundas used to be the home to internationally renowned cactus grower Ben Veldhus. Cactus Greenhouse, and as a result of this historic tradition, Dundas every single year now hosts a cactus event, and it's probably the biggest festival that happens in Dundas, which is the third weekend of August every year, and I'm pretty sure everyone in town shows up for that. But other than that, you also have Bucker Fest, which takes place on the first weekend of every June, and is probably the second biggest festival in Dundas, and in this festival here, you'll find street performers from around the world displaying their 
unique talents. And then also you have a classic Christmas holidays festival with the tree lighting. And then every weekend there's different festival of lights and you might even catch Santa Claus roaming around downtown Dundas. Then the next pro about Dundas is the amazing real estate opportunities it offers. As when you compare Dundas real estate prices to Burlington or Oakville or Ancaster. So basically the surrounding areas, you're gonna find the real estate is more affordable here. As historically, it's right in the middle of the affordability when you compare it to the surrounding areas of Hamilton. As here you'll find a unique mix of old world charm and access to modern amenities, which means that it appeals to a wide range of buyers from urban professionals who want to live outside the hustle and bustle of the downtown core and enjoy weekends, hiking trails and seeking waterfalls to growing families for a larger home that want easy access to amenities and recreational options. So with that said, I can easily see that in the coming years, buying real estate in Dundas is a great option as I can only see the real estate prices only going up from here. Especially because around Dundas, there's a lot of green spaces that are protected that no longer offer development. So you can be rest assured that when you buy a home, you're not gonna have a massive influx of development happening around this community. And then the next pro about living in Dundas is all the amazing schools it offers as not only do the elementary and high schools routinely rank above the Fraser Institute average for Ontario schools. If you wanna go ahead and check it out, you can go check my link in the description for the Fraser Institute, but also you have McMaster and just a short drive away, which was rated the fourth best university in all of Canada and the 80th best university in the world. But also you have Dundas Valley School of Arts where you can take classes and learn a new art skill. But then Finally, one special place that Dundas holds true to me is the amazing tutoring offering in this small town here, as there's a lot of boutique tutoring places. I know myself growing up, being a dyslexic, I used to have to travel down to downtown Dundas every single week during my elementary years to get dyslexic tutoring, as at the end of the day, this was the only place that offered it. So there's a lot of unique tutoring options available in Dundas but also associated with Mac Cub, some amazing healthcare right at your doorstep as not only does McMaster offer a sick kids hospital, which is a great spot to bring any kids that aren't feeling well, but you also have Hamilton General Hospital, just a short drive away, as well as the cancer center up on the mountain. And, Hel and Hamilton's healthcare backs it up as it's seen by the many awards that it rains on a yearly basis. As in the three years, the Joint Commission sends anonymous people to survey Hamilton's hospital patients experience. And as you can see, Hamilton ranks in the top 10% in Canada's nation. And then a bonus pro I have to mention about living in Dundas is the amazing golf opportunities Dundas offers. As not only do you have Dundas Valley Golf Club right in its borders, but you also have a beautiful chip and putt nine hole in Rock Chapel's Golf Center, as well as a driving range. But you also have Beverly Golf Club and Country Club offering some beautiful, scenes on 18 holes. So there you have it. Now you know all the major pros and cons of living in Dundas. So is living in Dundas worth it to you? Comment below and if you want help moving to Dundas one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you out. And if you're interested in learning more about one of the neighboring cities, in the next video I'd recommend you go check out on my pros and cons going over Burlington, Ontario. So you can find that right here. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.